Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. As we come into the summer months, one of my favourite desserts to make when we have the family over is eaten mess. It's easy to make if you buy the meringues, but they're easy to make as well, so why would you buy them? And with strawberries coming into season, it's an all-round delicious dessert. Eaton Mess is a traditional British dish that dates back to 1893, and it consists of strawberries, meringues that are broken up and crushed into the strawberries, and then some whipped cream folded through it. Oh my, it's delicious. As I said, you can buy your meringues, but that's cheating. They're so easy to make if you've got a mixer. Egg whites on the machine and beat them until they're stiff. Once the egg whites are stiff, and I mean really stiff, we can add the sugar. But we need to add it gradually, and we need to add it while the machine's still going. And we beat it until it loses all that grittiness. Then I'm going to add a little cream of tartar. I put a link to it in the description below if you can't get it at your local store, but it'll help with stabilizing the eggs. Then some vanilla bean paste. I love vanilla bean paste. If you don't have it, you can use vanilla extract, uh, but if you want to use this one, there's a link to that in the description too. Now we beat this, as I said, until all of the sugar is dissolved into the egg whites because we don't want gritty meringues. Once the meringue's nice and shiny, then we can take it off the bowl. I'm going to pipe my meringues, but if you don't have a piping bag and tip, I'm putting a star tip on mine, they look pretty. But you can just take this and just dollop it in little clumps onto some parchment paper. It's gonna go into the oven at 275 degrees, nice and low and slow. And the meringues are gonna cook for about 20 minutes or so. Just pipe the meringues onto your parchment paper and leave a gap between them because they do start to swell a little bit. No one really knows where the term Eaton mess came from. They say it originated at Eaton College and was made for the cricket match between Eaton and Harrow and served then. And mess came from apparently some boys dropping the dessert, scooping it up and then serving it anyway. I'm not sure that that's true. My theory is that it was served at Eaton, maybe for the cricket match, but I think the chef just got the meringues and thought rather than do a great big pavlova, we'll just crush the meringues up and mix it all together and the boys will love it. While the meringues are cooking, we're going to macerate the strawberries. And macerating actually means putting sugar onto the soft fruit and letting that sugar draw all of the liquids out of the fruit. So you end up with a really nice syrup at the bottom of the dish that then we pour over the meringues and the whipped cream. You can chop the strawberries, you can dice them, you can slice them. I like to quarter them. I think it just gives some texture to the dish. Out of season, I've even seen this done with bananas. I've seen it done during the summer with blueberries and raspberries and lots of other soft fruit too. It's really personal choice and what would be really nice is a mixture of all those soft berries with the whipped cream and, a, and of course the meringues. At Buckingham Palace when we made this dish for the Queen, we actually froze the cream once it was whipped rather than just putting whipped cream on there. And it was really popular at garden parties and Royal Ascot week too. I also made this dish a lot at Kensington Palace for both William and Harry because they both went to Eton. Add the sugar. If you don't want to use sugar, you can use balsamic vinegar on this. It works just the same. Toss that sugar into the strawberries. And then a little lemon juice. I know, it's a pretty cool juicer, right? I've just got this from Verve Culture. I'll put a link in the description. I love it, look. The traditional juicer. It's amazing when you're making margaritas. A little lemon juice over the top. Toss them again and leave them to macerate for about 20 minutes or so. The meringue should be about ready. 
Once the meringues are cold, they're nice and crispy, crunchy. And then inside, they're a little bit soft, which is what I want. Some people like to assemble this ahead of time so that the meringues, real hard, solid meringues, the store-bought meringues, they get to soften a little. With my recipe, when you're making the meringues, they're crispy on the outside and they're already soft in the center. And that's what we're looking for. We can assemble this right at the very last minute. I've whipped some cream until stiff. I've not put any sugar in there because sugar in the meringues, sugar in the strawberries, that's an overdose on sugar. I start off in a beautiful glass dish because I want to see those layers and, and all the berries just poking out the sides. So I take some meringues and just crumble those on the bottom. Then I'm gonna put some cream on top. And you can build this any way you want to. And if you want to put some different berries in, then do. If you want to put a little pims in there as well, a little drizzle of pims, that's really nice. Or some grated orange zest. Make this eat and mess your own recipe. And then my berries. And then I'm just gonna start repeating everything again. Finally, some of this juice, this macerated juice over the top. And then into the garden for the McGrady Bunch seal of approval. Ooh, we eating mess. I'm so glad I came over for dinner tonight. This is my favorite. It's my favorite too. It's so summery. I haven't had it in forever, honestly. The strawberries mm. are my favorite part. The mm. meringue. We're just coming into season. It's just a great dish. I love when we have this. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Make the dish at home. Make it your dish for the summer. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again soon.